Welcome back. My next guest is Dr. Tyler Lamaster, who is a chiropractor with Ellswood Chiropractic. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. And and I started off with back pain. And I, well, in our office, we see a lot of back pain. I guess it's the most common joint pain or musculoskeletal discomfort we see. And a lot of them end up with you. So what causes the back pain? What do you do with it? No, that's correct. Uh, 85 percent of the population at some point in their life will experience back pain of some sort or another. So the questions we're concerned with is what's causing the back pain? Where's it come from? A lot of people have it so arthritis, sprain strain type injuries, uh, neurologic conditions, vascular injuries, disc type injuries, all those kind of fall into the category of what we treat on a daily basis and the most common of those are very simply muscular strain, so a pulled muscle. Now, when I, when I see them, some of the things I do is, is medications, but you do more uh, hands-on? Absolutely, more, more manipulation. So t tell me about things that you do to treat back pain. So for an individual who would have back pain, just generalized back pain, we would do techniques like Cox flexion distraction, where you have a person lie face down on the table, take a hand contact on that individual and stretch out the muscles and the joint spaces where the symptoms are coming from. People who have arthritis and people who have sciatica, very similar treatments. Outside that realm, we do manual chiropractic adjustments where we put you in various different positions and postures, lean in, apply a little bit of force, and try to make that joint move. The, one of the main premises in chiropractic is that symptoms are produced by joint restriction, what we call chiropractic subluxations. We try to alleviate those symptoms by reducing subluxation, which helps, which is the reduction of restriction in that area. Now, I mentioned back pain, but I guess that could apply to other joints as well. Absolutely. Uh, low back, middle back, neck, we see a tremendous, a tremendous amount of headaches, tension type headaches, cervicogenic type headaches, migraines. I treat people who have shoulder lesions, uh, rotator cuff tears, plantar fasciitis, knee pain, and, and, all, and all those are treated differently in our office. The, uh, the, the treatment, is it a, is it a one-time thing? Is it a, is it a multiple thing or does it depend? It depends. Oftentimes it is not just a one and done type of care. For some people it is. I would say that's very rare. The majority of people I will see for approximately a month and I'll see them somewhere between 8 and 12 times and realistically chiropractic care is very conservative in nature so we'll use a short amount of visits maybe four to six visits as a litmus test to figure out where we need to go in the future my my thing with people is that if chiropractic is not right for them I want to get them exactly where they need to be well you you mentioned not right is there any danger or concerned about what I call manipulation of the spine. Is it's it? very, very minimal. Uh, a stat I like to throw around is that in 2017 more people were seriously injured by falling vending machines than chiropractors. <laughs> That's probably true. So I, so I think uh, it's, it's fairly rare. Alright, tell me the, the, the difference or the similarities between a chiropractor, a physical therapist, a massage therapist, an orthopedic surgeon. How how's, how's that fall into play? It's a lot about the scope of practice. Physical therapists uh, are phenomenal at exercising, strengthening, stretching. They'll increase your range of motion and they'll do that differently than a chiropractor or an orthopedic surgeon or a massage therapist will. Chiropractors, like I said, we would try to reduce joint restriction where we're not specifically focused with soft tissue. We are focused on the bones and where the bones connect to one another. One thing also you mentioned is preventive. Uh, preventive services, preventive exercises, Absolutely. there are things you can do to keep somebody from having back pain. Absolutely, and one of the directions chiropractic is going currently uh, with current studies coming out in the literature that we subscribe to is that chiropractic care should not be used as triage care. It should not just be a band-aid, but more like where dentists will want, to come, want you to come in a couple times a year to get regular cleanings we would like individuals to come in more frequently two, three, maybe four times a year just to get a spinal examination, make sure that they are in alignment, make sure that they are functioning well, and if they're functioning well, then they perform better in daily life and they have less aches and pains. Well, that's great information. Thanks for coming in.